Hi, this is Daniel from Baum Inventions and welcome to another video about the Standuino Trinity. In the first video we have learned how to build those things and now we will learn about the technique a little bit more. Those boards you can see here they are basically an Arduino. This is a programmable microcontroller you can write your own programs on it and you, it can do everything you want and they took it and re rebuild it completely and write a program that can make music or can be a drum computer or it can be a sequencer by just changing the chip of this thing for example you take out the drum chip and put in the polysynth or the mono synth. The only difference is between the sequencer and the other modules. You can see it here. It has three different LEDs instead of one. Three red LEDs. It is better for programming a sequencer and you can see it in the demonstration. And for the other modules it is better to have a multicolor LED for programming it. Each module has a uh, audio output and a uh, voltage input. You can also solder a cable to there that you can connect a 9 volt battery but I will not need it. I will always use a power supply. I will build a new case. This is a great thing, thing about it. You can buy it like you want it. I wanted it without the case. Okay, I can get it without the case. This is a poor man synthesizer, like I am. I'm really poor and I can afford these things. They are cheap and uh, I can expand it. You can connect up to four modules. The sequencer board, I talked about it. It can control three modules. You can build a chain of them. You can interconnect them through the, those ports here. It goes in this direction. If you interconnect them, they share the power and the sound and they communicate through MIDI. You, th this is why this is important on the sequencer too. The sequencer doesn't only send information out. You can let it sequence and you can also put MIDI signals in here and make it uh, controlled by your MIDI system. And you can also take the MIDI signals out here and let it control your MIDI system. This is very versatile. Every button and every switch and every LED is control voltage activated. They can trigger your analog system with a little bit uh, soldering. It can trigger everything. It's a very versatile system all based on this Arduino base. This is why you have this hack connector. You can use a FTDI connector to program on this chip you can write uh, into the program if you don't like the features they have built in you can change it or uh, if you don't like the ranges of the switches you can change them and the nice thing is every module comes with uh, one of those manuals and they describe uh, the names of the buttons and knobs in there and it's, it's all the, also the same in the software that you can identify everything and modify it the way you like. This is a very versatile system and it's very nice because it's very responsive. It's immediately doing what you want it to do. For example, here's a feature where you can add drum rolls and this is very interesting. For With the sequencer it makes nice sequences and it reacts very fast when you change the patterns and starts immediately doing what you want all on a very nice experimental base. This is awesome. This is totally great and it looks great even without the case. You can see it. You can, you can see every detail, every solder point. When you want to use your module it's pretty simple. You just take your headphone jack, plug it in there and the power, plug it in there, 9 volts, I just take a 9 volt uh, positive in inside cable here, the plug must be positive inside and uh, just turn it this way and it starts what you 
you can immediately, this is the drum module, you can immediately start playing it. I have several sets, you can change the sets. This is to totally simple and now you can go in the details but I will make another video where I explain the details. If you want to interconnect them it's pretty easy. I always turn my module off and disconnect the power just to be sure that nothing happens. I don't know if it's necessary but it's always a good idea. And now I take them, put them together. It's totally easy. I will get more of those modules. You can connect up to four. Uh, but I haven't had enough money, but though then I bought just two of those boards and uh, two of those chips. So I can buy later more boards. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's totally modular. You can buy what you want. You can start with one module and you can expand it and like you have money. Now you can just connect uh, Connect the headphone jack and the power connector and it's ready to go. They share the sound and the MIDI signals, they connect through MIDI uh, and the voltage through this connector. I will turn on this module, this is a drum module and I will turn on this module, this is a sequencer module. You can see it. Now we hear the drum sounds and I can also play the drum sounds through this module. It's controlled here through MIDI. It's very nice. And the natu uh, natural thing of a sequencer is it can sequence things. So we can start a sequence here, the sounds. And I can change the sets. I can also add swing to this module here. And I can easily modify my sounds if I don't like them. For example, this snare drum. I've stopped it, now I have my modified snare drum. This, this is what I mean fast. Totally awesome system. I will make more detailed videos about those modules, how they work. But this is the first impression of those modules. This is totally awesome. Wait until you will hear the mono synths. This is an awesome synthesis. Oh, this is a FM synthesizer. And this is totally awesome. If you like those uh, 80 sounds from the Yamaha DX7 uh, or TX81Z, then you will love this module. You can exactly hear the, the, the synthesis. It's totally granular and awesome and metallic and brilliant and I can't describe it. You will have to wait until you see it in the video. Until I will left you with some uh, beats of this small beatbox. Two module beatbox. All links you will find in the description under this YouTube video and until then I can say nothing more than try those things. They are awesome. They are pretty, pretty awesome.